Okay, so I'm with Scrappy Mania, and today I want to show you something that I discover. Um, the blocks, I already uploaded a tutorial on creating your blocks with the Velcro, like you have here, and just putting Velcro on it, and then using your sponges, and um, creating your own inking sponge like this. This one is one that I purchased, but then I went ahead and my husband cut a bunch of other ones for me. Um, and I put Velcro, and then these are the ones I created. And I showed you a tutorial how buying, using the the um, the ink pads. So if you buy a package of these ink blending um, foam, they fit perfectly on your block with the Velcro, and you can use that. Well, I started experimenting with other things because, you know, these things, this one was $4.99, you get 10 so I was trying to see if there's a more economical way of getting these, but making something similar to this, but not really, um, you know, spending that much. I mean, I guess with the 40% coupon, it came, it came out to like um, $2.38, but... I still would like to see if I can find other ways to kind of get the same look but without the cost. Um, so then I discovered these pads, the one, the makeup foam pads that you buy. These are, you get $84. This one was a dollar and I got 80 pads. So I started experimenting with those. So, and then this is what I got. I used it and actually I get a softer kind of blending. I don't have to worry, you know, with these other ones you have to start out out from here and then kind of blend your way in in order to get that nice soft blended look well with these pads you don't need to do that let me show you one um, I'm gonna compare this one so let's see first of all let's compare the regular one with the foam the inking foam that you purchase in a store so I'm going to ink it up and then I got to start, if I start from here you'll see, see how you can really get, you can see when it starts and ends. So you really have to start from the outside and blend your way in. And you still don't get that real, I mean you still have to keep blending, blending in order to get that nice soft look. Well let's go ahead and try. Now I only have round ones, I've seen square ones which would probably be better but I'm using round ones for now because that's what I got. Now let's do it the same thing. So I'm going to ink it up. Doesn't look like much, but look how it's kind of softer. And I like that. It's really, you can just really blend in. And see, I don't have to start from out from the beginning. It really blends in very nicely. See that? And see that? I know. I guess if you want it a little darker, you want you might want to this one creates like a more dark, darker blending. Now this one is a more subtle kind of graduated blending using um, like these foam things. And they're pretty inexpensive so you can, you know, once you're done with it you can easily just throw it away. And then the, the other thing I was trying, because I like to have a, like a dark border on the side so with this one you can really get like a dark border and see how you can you get really dark borders like on your edges well I did the same thing with this I really inked it up and you get the same kind of result see you get a really dark edge just go it like that and then it really blends very nicely. Now, it does, you know, you have to change it so you won't be able to reuse that. You throw it away. Well, this one gets, you get a lot of usage out of it. So, I mean, it just depends. But I think I like using this. And then you can turn it over. Now, it kind of, if it doesn't disintegrate, you can turn it over and kind of do the same thing. Now, I have other ones that are more sturdier than this. So, I mean, but you just throw it away for a dollar, you get 80. That's pretty economical um, for that. And then the next thing I kind of was playing with was with the alcohol inks and batting. This is actually kind of um, felt. Well, you know, I, um, 
if you have batting from quilting and stuff like that, so if you're a sewer and you always get these, you get extra batting that's laying around your house, you can use this to create your foam. So let me cut a piece of my batting. So here I got a piece. I'm going to put that on here. And then let me go ahead and show you with a regular, with a purchase one. So this is purchase. I'm going to turn over, actually I'm going to use a slick cardstock. And I'm going to put some colors on here. Some of this. And then I'm going to use some blending alcohol inks. I'm going to put a little bit there. And then I'm going to go ahead and dab. So this is with that block. Now, let's go ahead and do the same thing with this one. And let's compare. So I'm just going to put some. And it's pretty economical. I think making your own felt squares than buying it because I mean like I said if you sew you really you probably have some already in your sewing stash so why buy um, store bought when you already have it in your house and see it does the same thing pretty neat huh so you get the same effect either using um, batting or buying your own ones. And also, I also experimenting with the ink. I also use some batting. Instead of using foam, I cut some. Use some of my ink here. My distressing ink. And then I used it. And it actually does the same thing. Um, it's a little lighter. So if you want to just give a a little bit of a little bit of inking on the edges, you don't want it real harsh, then you can use batting. And then I went ahead and experimenting, kind of putting a little edge on my on the paper. And you see it's it's actually more subtle when you use the batting to create your to give your edge color than when you use a regular foam. So just food for thoughts. Um, if you want to, you know, use your 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 stuff that you're already lying around the house, especially if you run out you run out of these sponges saying you haven't made it to the store and you want to make a layout and have this effect on your layout, then go ahead and pull your makeup sponges that you have in your makeup kit and they're perfect to for using for doing this and also very the and your batting is perfect for using your alcohol inks so i hope you like this tutorial just something else that you can use and thank you for watching bye